Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, that great millstone, who will will through the scriptures, peace to the elect. This is a video, um, well, at the camp speaking um, Sunday, it was, uh, like the title says, Confusion the Face Israelite Receive Edification. Some so-called white people came to the camp, you know, slightly drunk, because there's a lot of bars around, but uh, basically... The truth is out there, so to speak. So he's going to explain how he found out about he may or may not be Esau and African sold uh, Hebrew Israelites into slavery, et cetera. So I'm going to just play. So it's, it must be guys in, in, in Lake County that know they yeah. Hebrews are like. Yeah, and they told you this. But the thing is, you gotta understand. Right, so, you know, he going to the, the county jail for whatever reason or whatever, and he's going to the county jail, and the truth is in the Lake County jail, okay? Or the, the uh, basically the truth is in the world, so to speak. So every as, uh, aspect and facet of life, the truth is somehow making its way in there or not like uh, personally my personal testimony not too long ago i was in jail okay because we under the curses like people think uh you know you're gonna be a um you come and serve the lord then uh you're just gonna be a uh everything is gonna be sweet and all good we still uh we gotta serve uh unrighteous laws and unrighteous decrees all right so based off the way this system set up i found myself in jail, all right. While in this knowledge, and I let people know about uh, I let so called uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans know about them being um, the real uh, Israelites of the Bible. And on, on a, another occasion, even uh, let Esau know that they were Esau, even let a even let a confusion of face know that he wasn't uh, uh, a so called white person. All right, so hey, that's how you know. That's how you further know. We actually, right, this is Matthew. Matthew 24 and 14, it says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Not Christianity, but Christianity in the whole world. All right? All these other doctrines have been across, you know, the uh, the, the world. Israelites, and that the Lord is for us, and, and everything that we're, we're preaching on the highways and byways, that's going to be preached across the whole world. Then shall the end come. And every corner where you at, because when you get locked up, for the most part, you be cut off from the world. All right. You when you get out of uh, jail, it'd be things new. You'd be like, damn, you're doing this now. You're doing that now. But, hey, the Lord said his word shall not his word shall go out and it's not going to come back to him void. All right. No matter where you at, the whole world is going to hit us. OK. Go back to. But, but, on the same time, it got to be some understanding with it, all right? Because this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15. It says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So you got to have knowledge, all right, and understanding, all right? So, yes, the knowledge is that, look, so-called white people descend from Esau. All right, and so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the Israelites. But the understanding comes in when you understand and, 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 and know, and you can, and you can perceive that just because you look white, that don't mean you're Edomite. All right, just because you got white skin, that don't mean you descend from Esau. All right, and that's what the, he was told, and um, that's what he was told in Lake County. 
oh yeah, you're Edomite and woo woo, et cetera. Be, uh, and they told him that based off his uh, so-called white skin. But understand it comes in too. And, uh, and we, you know, we gave him this scripture, you know, first Samuel chapter 16, verse seven, it says, but the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance and what's countenance. All right. In the Hebrew, Mara'ah, all right, sight or appearance. All right. So that's the point. Don't look at it at his appearance, how he look, how he look on the outside. Or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For Yahweh, Lord all caps is the most high, says, For Yahweh seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. All right, so what's inside of him? All right, because you got something called the confusion of faces. All right, meaning basically, if I have, like, we, uh, I always use Blake Griffin as an example because. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a modern and easy example to understand. You have Blake Griffin, okay, a famous basketball player, who has a Afri so called African American father and a so called white mother, and he came out looking almost white, all right. Where well, he's almost passable. You look at him and you could be like, eh, I know he mixed with something, but he looks more so white as far as his skin complexion, all right? where well, he got a so-called African-American for a uh, father. Now, his wife, the woman he has a baby by, a child boy, she is a so-called white woman. And the result of their baby, their baby looks totally white, all right? But their baby is an Israelite. Why? Because this is uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and 18. It says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees. What's their pedigree? You lied. All right, to bring, to bear, to bring forth, to beget. All right, to be born, to cause or help to bring forth. All right, to declare one's birth, pedigree, to beget. So that's when the Bible say. And, uh, and Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Jew, because it's the seed of the father. That's how you determine your pedigree. All right. And when you look the word pedigree up, it means uh, when you look it up on you know in dictionary.com and etymology, it basically means uh, your lineage or your ancestry. So that's how it's determined. That's how Solomon's son Rehoboam was able to to sit on the throne. Because he was an Israelite based off the seed of his father. His mother was a so-called Japanese woman. In Israelite law, in the Bible, the law is you shall not let a heathen rule over you. Okay? So anyone that descends from a heathen on their father's side, you a heathen. Ain't no mixed people in the Bible, all right? So, and with that being said, you have people... Like the like the slave master. If the slave master have sex with a uh, with one of his slaves, well then what's the result? No matter how how dark of skin the child gonna come out with, his father is still a so called white man. So that child will be a uh, will be his father's lineage, which is Esau Edom according to the Bible. They're not white. The Edomites. All right. So this is uh Romans. I get Romans. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. It says, The Spirit is self bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. So the Spirit is what? The words of the, this book. John 6 and 63 says, the, the words I speak, they are spirit and they are life. All right, so that's what it means when it says the Spirit. So the things written in this book testifies with the Spirit that the Lord put in us. Because... Only Israel and that guy when he was up there, he had he you know he had a certain reverence. He displayed a reverence for the Lord, for the Bible, you know, or for whatever for whatever he you know, taught whatever he thought he might was right, you know, uh, from from Christianity. All right, that's why the scripture says our people have a, have a zeal for the Lord, but not according to knowledge. Which that's further those are little indicators that uh, certain people that look like other nations. Could be part of a could be part of nation Israel because they have a zeal for the Lord, all right. 
And it's because it's, uh, when the scripture speaks about the wicked, it says the most high is not in all his thoughts. Like uh, uh, when so-called white people and so-called uh, uh, Asians, when they commit, commit wicked acts, they don't have that consciousness of, uh, bothering them about, man, the, mo the, the Lord might not have liked what I have done. All right. Because the scriptures say the most high is, is not in all their thoughts, man. They're not thinking. They, they don't think about the Lord like that. All right, and then he talked about how he grew up uh, without a father. He didn't know his father was. He was under certain uh, conditions in life, you know. And but that that further goes back to what Deuteronomy twenty eight, the curses. All right. Well, anyway, I'll read it again. Deuteronomy chapter, uh, like it, Romans chapter eight, verse sixteen. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. All right, and another thing too. We we uh, these people trying to label us black extremists and uh, uh uh we just out there preaching hate. We out there giving people hope because we we got the we got the truth and we got the understanding of the truth. See, uh, he was told that he was um he was an Edomite, a so called white person, and uh you know uh in the, in the Lake County in the Lake County jail, and you know with what comes with that, you can speculate. They probably told him, yeah, God hates you. Y'all gonna be our slaves, and and uh uh uh, uh y'all gonna be destroyed, which is true. All 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 they that descend from Esau Edom will be killed and destroyed, and it just so happens that the people calling themselves white today are the tribe of Esau Edom. But the catchphrase is the understanding behind knowing that is not everybody that looks white are of Esau Edom. It's not about a skin color thing. All right. Because I, I gave the, the, the Blake Griffin example earlier. All right. And uh, another thing I was going to say is, like I said, uh, said earlier, we giving people hope. Now that man got hope because the only hope for for uh, anybody that got a white skin is that the, that you are uh, that you Israelite. All right, that that somehow down the line, your yo, yo ancestry leads back to the uh, the seed of Israel. All right, and with that, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the elect. Shalom.